Hello there, it's Freel here. This is in response to the present we sent to Captain Jack. It's a t-shirt and it's got the Black Country alphabet on it. A lot of it he'll manage to work out himself, but some of it, to be honest, anybody that lives about 20 miles away from here would have trouble knowing what it meant. So, my assistant Lint is going to help me and we're going to explain what the letters of the Black Country alphabet mean. The Black Country accent is always seen as a, a yeah, and they did a survey a few years back and it was voted the last accent um, in, in terms of showing intelligence. It even came lower than being silent. So that shows you how bad the Black Country accent is perceived. Um, I did read somewhere that it's actually on a par with what they class as a southern accent in America being the redneck. So, in other words, we're, we're all the same. We're, we're rednecks and uh, the, the equivalent version of redneck. So, forget everybody else. <laughs> right, we'll run through this. Oh, and the other thing is as well, the Black Country accent was the response that they reckon that Chaucer, William Shakespeare, based most of his accents on it because there wasn't really a London accent or a posh sort of accent. And, where and Shakespeare grew up near to here. Shakespeare he was, was born 40, 40 years and 40 miles away. Yeah, that's about all. We're in uh, Stratford. Although I have to say, I can't imagine um, Maurice Olivier doing Richard III and going, an os, an os, my kingdom for, for an os. os. <laughs> but then, <laughs> We'll but, get to that. We'll get to that one. Okay. Right. A is for apple. Apple. What are these? Yeah, apple. Friends, apple, black country. Yeah. B is for nana. Which has my handy prop, Sam. One banana. of those. Yeah. We also say nana if you've done something that you feel a bit embarrassed by. Yeah. And you'll say. I feel a right nana. A right nana, meaning I feel a right idiot. C is for council pop. Council Pop. Council Pop. Water, yeah. D is for Donnies. These things on the end of your arms. Mainly, we use that with little children. Yeah. We'll say, oh, can I hold your Donny? Are your Donny's cold? But yeah, Donny's hands. E is for E you go. Which, if you're going somewhere. There you go. F is for Fickle. Food. Yep. And Boston fiddle is really good food. Yeah, we, we use the word Boston for something that's really good. So, Boston fiddle, really nice food. G is for give a go, as if. Give us a go. Give, give us, us a go, as if. Go. Right, H is for horse. Horse. I is for ickle, as in little. Ickle. J is for Jed, when you like that in the box. Dead. K is for Kaloid when you've had too many. Uh, too much to drink and you're drunk. Kaloid. L is for like. Yeah, they say we. The vowels. Like we this. say our vowels different to other parts of England. Instead of saying like, we say like and we sort of flatten our vowels. So, like, how now brown cow? We sort of go, how now brown cow? We don't think we do. But you might be able to hear that we probably do. M is for mucka, as in friend or best friend. Me old mucka, me best friend. M is for nah, as in no. We go, nah, I don't think I'm going to do that. Oh, the most popular one is how am ya? If you meet one of your friends. How am ya? How are you doing? Yeah. Things like that. We miss the H off, so we get to the same how we go, how. How yeah. am you doing? P is for tater. Potato. Which is potato, but we don't know how we get to that one, but it's a tater. It's all tater. If you're a bit posh. Q is for quid. Pound. Pound coin. R is for riffy. Ain't washed. Bit smelly. Bit dirty. Then riffy. S is for suck, as in sweets. Or candy. Or candy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a good example. Like, gives us some suck. Give me some sweets. Which can get you into trouble in certain places. Uh, T is for tara a bit. Tara. Which, oh, yeah. see you later. So I said a saying, bye bye, or goodbye, we've got tara, tara for now. U is for um, 
Which is your home. Home. Your house. Yeah. Usually they say, I'm going, I'm going, um, I'm going um. I mean, <laughs> you're already here, are right? yeah. you? V is for the old mon's vest, which is basically a white vest. Yeah, the old mon. That'd be your husband, dad or husband. Dad, yeah. Old mon vest. W is for umman. There's one Ummen. here to my left. Yeah. Bit of a gap there because I'm afraid we just had to restart the camera. Right, we've just done W for woman. Woman. X is for kiss aid. Mwah. Y is for yampy. Yampy. The lift don't go quite all the way up. Yeah, so we uh, are quite there. Yeah, I'm yampy. Z, and I emphasise Z, is for stripy ass. Yeah, the other ones for me. Black Zebra. And white. Zebra like white or zebra. Yeah. It's fine for Right, anyway. Um, lose the accent a bit and uh, I'm just go and uh, yes, you can prepare tell to play Othello. Thank you very much, darlings. Okay. Sorry, Spencer. <laughs> right, so that was the Black Country accent, as on Jack, Captain Jack's T-shirt. T-shirt. Yeah. So hope that's uh, straightened things out a bit for you. When I talk, I usually talk actually quite <coughs> posh. Very posh. Considering that's the black country accent you've just heard. But anybody from England would still think we sound a bit thick. But never mind. So we'll see you all soon. Uh, speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.